I'm going to play this little bit of audio for you, and then I'm going to finish off my commentary. Like the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers. If I could ask you to stay with us, we're going to Did y'all just hear that? Did you just hear that? Because I know my ears are clean enough to hear what she just said. If y'all do not know who that is, that is none other than MSNBC anchor Allison Morris. And she was speaking on the death of Kobe Bryant and probably his daughter. I don't know if she mentioned the daughter or not, but we know Kobe Bryant was a huge focal point. And she referred to the Los Angeles Lakers as the Los Angeles niggers. Now, that audio you just heard was not doctored. It was not edited. That was raw and uncut during a live feed. Most people will call that a Freudian slip. I call that being a staunch racist. And the crazy part about it is it didn't even sound like a slip. If you listen to the audio, it sounded like she had a pause before she said, the word. And then if you notice after she said the word. She spoke really fast to try to cover it up. And she said the entire word. She didn't even stop in between and catch herself. It's, she's, it's not like she said knit and then Lakers. That's the only way I could accept that being a Freudian slip. But she said the entire word and then said Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers behind it. They need to reprimand this bitch and remove her from her job. Because not only did she make this racist statement after this man and his daughter and three other people just died on a plane crash, not a plane, on a helicopter crash. But now they're saying that the death toll is nine. So it might be more than that. But you get what I mean. But not only did she make that comment, but she made an indictment on the Los Angeles Lakers team. Because as you know, when it comes to basketball, hell, even football, most of the teams are comprised of black men. And she said that out of her mouth. I will play it for you again, just in case you didn't hear it. Like the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers, could be that if I could ask you to stay with. There it is again. Now people are probably going to be digging in her ass. I'm gonna go. I should go onto her Twitter account and see if she has her if she has her tweets active. If them things is off, that's because people have already started to go at her. Now they're probably going to try to keep her uh, identity as a. Uh, Concealed as possible. Okay, so here it is. She says, earlier today, while reporting on the tragic news of Kobe Bryant's passing, I unfortunately started on air combining the names of the Knicks and the Lakers to say Nakers. Please know I did not and would never use a racist term. I apologize for the confusion. But someone replied and said, but wait a minute, Kobe wasn't a Nick. Somebody replied to that. And as a matter of fact, the person who replied to the first comment that I'm looking at right now is somebody who follows me on Twitter. Shout out to that person. And now people are going to probably come up there and they're going to try to defend her. Now, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to play this again and really listen to it and see if that's what it sounds like. Like the kind of star that was perfectly cast. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. I went out of it. Hold on, let me play it back. Like the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Niggers. Los Angeles Lakers. Could be that, if I could ask you to... that sounds like niggers to me. Cause l- listen to what she says. She this is what she thought she said. Nakers. Now does that sound now Nakers? Does that sound like what she claims, or does it sound like what we heard? Because I'm looking through these comments right now. And none of us are buying it. Because it definitely sounded like she said the N-word. Not what, not nakers. Like she claimed she did. Because we would know nakers from niggers. See? 
what she said sounded like what I just said, the latter, not the former. She can try and get her way up out of this if she possibly can, but she ain't going to be able to live this one down. And I hope that people don't allow her to do so. Because I get sick and goddamn tired of people like her and others on these lamestream media platforms thinking that they can uh, pull the wool over black people's eyes and we supposed to just take it and run with it. No. Nah. We know what we heard. Y'all down in the comments, tell me, are my ears deceiving me? Or did you hear what I heard, what she just said? I'll run it back one more time. That was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Nakers Coop, Los Angeles Lakers Coop, Los Nakers Coop, Los Nakers Coop, Los Nakers Coop, Los Nakers Coop. Sounds like the N word to me. I just ran that part back to you like five times. That doesn't sound like no damn Nakers. And people are going in on her, and rightfully so. You have some people that's going to try to defend her, but it's not working. But you disrespected this man and his daughter and his family on the day that he died and she died and his daughter and all the people that was affected by this and the Los Angeles Lakers organization as a whole by saying that past and present. She needs to be fired. I don't know if there's a petition that's going around to get her removed, but there needs to be one going out ASAP. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, follow me on Twitter. Have your notifications turned on. I will talk to you in the next one.